Switch mod incoming. Thank you iFixit so much for making this video possible. Visit the link below to join the Fix at Home challenge and get $10 off your next $50 fix. Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. I hope that you're all staying safe and at home. Now, given that I've got a lot of time on my hands stuck indoors, I decided to team up with iFixit for the Fix at Home challenge to create a Switch mod that I've been really curious about trying since the V2 version of the Nintendo Switch came out, the one that's got the better battery life. Can I swap the new V2 board, the model 001-01, into the original Switch, which was model 001, effectively turning the original Switch into the version 2? That was the question I sought to answer with the extra time I have on my hands, and it turns out, yes! Yes, you can. You can use the V2 board inside the original Switch as it looks like all the changes are contained on the board itself and all the components still work and fit. I will show you the footage of how I did the mod in just a second and I'm going to time code it in the description below so you can jump right to it. So why do this other than having oodles of time? Just say that your Switch dies and you determine that you need a new motherboard. You can use either generation board in your Switch. That's nice to know. That's the practical application. But what if you loved your screen on your original Switch and hate the screen on the V2 unit that you bought in order to take advantage of that better battery life? Just swap the board and keep your favorite display. I did just this for my husband who got really attached to his original Switch, but wanted the better battery life. So I took my Animal Crossing unit I bought, which had a terrible screen, cool lottery Nintendo, gave the motherboard and brand new battery to my husband, then swapped the themed back cover onto my current V2 unit that I really love, which took me seven exchanges to find a screen I liked. Note that I also gave him the new fan and the card readers because I wanted him to have new moving parts just to keep his further future proof. Poor gutted thing. It won't go to waste. It got John's old parts and will probably sell it or keep it for parts. Now for the fun part, how I did it. So for this mod, I used the iFixit Pro Tech Toolkit. I love this kit. See description links below for all the tools that I use. I used this screwdriver with the Y00 and the Y000 screw bits, spudgers, angled tweezers, and blunt tweezers. I also use the magnetic project mat to keep my screws in order, as well as an iFixit plastic card and adhesive remover to swap the batteries. Finally, I use the MX4 and G5 Pro viscous thermal paste, which both I got on Amazon, isopropyl 99% alcohol, and Q-tips plus a microfiber cloth. Now keep in mind, this is a shorthand video. I speed it up really fast. If you wanna see a really in-depth video where I take everything step by step, let me know. I'll make a separate video. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Roll mod.